He's having a seizure. Who will survive? A strong subject. There, he's opening his eyes. I saved him, Fuller. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? Oh, he was... He was dead. Me too, we, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! What happened to me? Where am I? <laughs> Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. No, you don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. 
Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. Why should I trust you? I don't even know your name. All I have is a woman dressed as a doctor, which is not particularly reassuring. I am Dr. Marie Colden. I work in this institute. But that does not mean I approve of everything Dr. Fuller does. He hides a lot of things from me, especially on this floor. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them, and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. What does this mean? What did he write about the painting? In his eyes, this symbol must have some protective virtues. Sarah? Am I in an asylum? What did they inject him with? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. <laughs> Poor wretch. Dr. Colden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm going to see if there's sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will you? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Good God. What could this machine be used for? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. 
Have I activated anything? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. I can still increase the load. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Vats of rotten flesh? An elaborate electrical system? Like a dumb pulp novel. The liquid connects it to the electric current. What are its properties? Worse and worse. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Dementia? Self-inflicted wounds? Anatomy, anthropology, Nothing surprising. It's done. Now for the others. well enough inside me. I feel it in my head and in my body. He roared. Its waves rise and crash, leaving behind them only trails of white. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not sleep. You. He does not call. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. I, walk, I, do not I can sleep. help you. If I do not stop, help me, I catch him. and I'll owe you one. Catch him. I sleep. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Is it the noise that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards... There's no way to get back to sleep. I'll find you some pills. 
Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Exactly what I need. Locked. It's locked. The green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. Now for the next step. Duct. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. This valve controls the pressure. Perfect. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. This lever must turn on the gas machine. There's nothing happening. Perfect.
With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. to hide before the guards see me. I'll go take a look.
I'll go take a look. You there! Hide before the guards see me. I'll go take a look. This way! Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Scopolamine F. There's no such thing. They've created derivatives of all common medicines.
Doctor, is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. That we should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! Don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you. What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor. The Shambler. Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. Got it. Look. This is insane. What killed him? Need to move on. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need to 
to drink. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let us go now, and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. 